So what's my honest first impressions of the Levy electric scooter? Woo! That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today, we're doing our first impressions of the Levy electric scooter. Levy is a new name in the electric scooter market, but you probably know them from their signature feature, a swappable battery. I'll have a full review coming out soon, but for now, we'll just focus on our first impressions from the unboxing to the first ride. And just a reminder, my goal is to always be unbiased and transparent with my opinions. This video is not endorsed or sponsored by Levy. So let's get to it. All right. The Levy electric scooter. Now the last electric scooter I had was a um, Swagtron. Styrofoam damage. Hopefully that's not an issue. I think I'm just gonna have to pull it off. Uh, right. <laughs> that's not as heavy as I thought it would be. But maybe it's because I haven't really rode an electric scooter in a while. A little bell right here, brake. So we got the handles. Always good to have this extender so that you can actually pump the tire. And then the charger. The left handle, you have to turn it clockwise. And then the right handle. <laughs> right handle counter clockwise, okay. And I guess we need, do they give us an Allen wrench for this? Yes, they do. So many Allen wrenches. I have so many. This is all really exciting. Coming through. So the first thing I noticed is the nice little control trigger made out of some rubber or silicone. Yeah, and this is kind of a unique look. The nice colorway. The foot rest here made out of rubber. And then the coolest part about this thing is this flip top here. You can open it and the battery comes out. <laughs> like so. So the removable battery is pretty cool. I think it's a really neat design. Typically you don't have access to the battery with something like this. Let's see if I can figure out how this goes back in. Like this, right? Like that. So don't be fooled by the spring. It's just basically, it's not for any kind of power distribution. It's just to put some tension on the battery so it doesn't bob up and down when you're riding. Okay, yeah, so that's our first look right out of the box. Coming through. Ooh, it's a nice little sound. I don't know, can you see that? And then it off? I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, that's something. All right, this is, this is D. This is just regular D. Okay, this I think is the sport mode. Woo! Seventeen, eighteen miles per hour. Twenty. Wow, this is. <laughs> I'm just surprised how like how much faster these electric scooters go now because it didn't seem like this would go that fast. But I didn't really feel super safe going 20 miles per hour on this. First is that the scooter is about 25 pounds, so that's actually lighter than the Swagger 5, the Swagtron Swagger 5. It does have an integrated um, battery and speedometer display, as well as an integrated bell. So there's the bell. <laughs> um, and then there's also a headlight. When you uh, tap one of the buttons, you get a headlight, integrated headlight, as well as a tail light. So that's really helpful. You don't have to add any of those things with aftermarket parts. And then it's also waterproof, uh, rated at, I believe, IP54, which means that it is splash proof from all angles. So I don't know if I actually wanna ride this thing through water, but um, in case you do get stuck in rain or something, uh, it is waterproof. So this does come equipped with a 36 volt Panasonic lithium ion battery. It comes in a tube and that tube actually fits inside of the stem of the handlebar stem. And so that means that the stem is actually really thick, which is okay. You know, usually the battery is located on the bottom, but that just means that 
weight distribution maybe is a little bit better. Um, and then as far as like the hub motor, it is a 350 watt hub motor on front that is kind of zippy. And on the hub motor are 8.5 inch pneumatic tubeless tires. Now what's cool about the tubeless tires is that it has better traction um, on the ground. And I think also if you do get a puncture or something, you can actually seal it without having to uh, remove the tire from the actual scooter. So that's some of the benefits of the tubeless design. So there are three speed modes on this scooter. There's beginner mode, which is a maximum of six miles per hour. There is eco mode, which is 12 miles per hour. And then there's sport mode, which is 18 miles per hour. This also has a range of between eight to 10 miles, depending on your size, your weight, and how fast you go. This is a dead end. So I'm gonna go around. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so it, it also depends on how much you're doing your throttle. So if you're like holding onto the throttle, obviously you lose a little bit more. So now it is fast on flat ground, but hills are a challenge and I'm gonna go on a hill right now to show you guys. Now this incline is pretty steep and I'm pushing a little bit to help it out because you don't wanna actually burn the motor out. So I'm on sport mode. I'm, I don't know what grade this is. Maybe we can check out the stats later when we look at it, but it's a pretty high grade and it is struggling. And here it's leveling out a little bit more and getting up to 14 miles per hour. So that kind of shows you um, how much of, uh, how hills are a bit of a problem. Uh, but that's kind of for a lot of scooters, right? You know, it's a little bit tricky to go up hills with something that only has a uh, 350 watt hub motor. So the 8.5 inch pneumatic tires are actually pretty comfortable. Uh, it does absorb a little bit of the terrain. Um, I mean, asphalt is probably the best that's suited for something like this. Uh, and you'd wanna be careful about like potholes and cracks in the road because you could easily lose balance. So there are two brakes on the Levy electric scooter. You have the uh, mechanical brake in the back which is the disc brake, and then the electronic brake as well. So it's a good safety option in case you need it. And we could test the brakes right now. So a nice smooth stop. So my overall impressions are that it is zippy. It is faster than I thought it would be uh, for something like this, which is a mid-range scooter. And the swappable battery is really cool and very eye-catching. It's the thing that drew my attention to the Levy electric scooter. But, um, you know, it could also be seen as a novelty. That's not something that I think I would be using. Um, I think if I'm going, you know, any further than 10 miles, I probably will be uh, either driving or using my electric bike. So swappable battery, cool option. Just not sure how much I'd use it. And finally, I think the Levy is just a little bit better looking and has more of a unique design than the scooters that are out right now. Uh, a lot of those scooters are based on, you know, the ride sharing scooters and the Xiaomi, and they all kind of like look the same. They just look like rebranded Xiaomi scooters. Uh, this one just has a little bit of a different look with the, you know, the, the big stem and kind of the silver uh, accents and the light blue and you know the gray colorway so it just pops out a little bit more even the display looks better there are more powerful scooters that are coming into the market some with wider wheels and you know stronger motors and things like that but really the the practical use for it is is more around this kind of like size and mid-range scooter like the levy so yeah overall kind of a good experience and something that I would definitely enjoy riding again. So that's our first impressions of the Levy electric scooter. As I mentioned, I'll do a thorough review next. If you have any questions about the Levy that I didn't cover, feel free to hit me up in the comments. If you wanna dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side, and remember to like and subscribe so I can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. I'll see you guys in the next video.